talk about uh, Coyote women's basketball. Um, I wanted to kind of just start by talking about, um, we talk to every recruit that comes in our program and, and to, to every, we take a lot of pride in, in um, trying to utilize our women's basketball program to teach young women about um, life outside of basketball, life after basketball, and, and you know, sports, no doubt, teaches everything from failure, joy, disappointment, excitement, winning, losing, you know, about, about maturity and teamwork and humanity and selflessness. And um, it's, it's amazing, you know, we're always trying to strive to the young women that are in our program to try to um, make sure that they're taking those life lessons and preparing themselves for life after basketball. But I wanted to share, uh, to start here today, just a couple things that I've been learning a little bit about myself uh, from this group and this team that I coach. and um, The first thing is, I'm getting old. Uh, our, our, first, um, our first team meeting this year, I, I, I got in there and I picked out this, I said, okay ladies, here, our theme song for this year is going to be um, New Additions, Can You Stand the Rain? And the girls all look at me. And I'm like, you know, New Edition. Can, can you stand the rain in their life? I said, who knows New Edition? And not one single player on my team raised their hand. And so then I went back and kind of looked, and I found out that that song was re uh, recorded in 1988, which was kind of pretty much before any of my girls were really born. So I guess that makes sense. First lesson for me, if you're going to use a song to try to motivate your girls, make sure it's something that is written after they were born. So, um, But actually, I did tell all of them to go and uh, get their iPods, iP iPhones, iPads, all that whatever fancy stuff, and download New Edition, Can You Stand the Rain, because that was going to be our theme song. So um, I'm enlightening them a little bit. But uh, basically, you know, the, the, the reason we picked that is the words of that song say, um, you know, sunny days, everybody loves them. But tell me, can you stand the rain? Storms will come, this we know for sure, but can you stand the rain? And that's kind of, I picked that song and those lyrics because, um, you know, last year was a lesson for us in that, you know, that the storms came, you know, Nicole Seacamp, our best player, goes down with a high ankle sprain, she misses six games, we start the season, the conference season last year, 0-4, um, we're in dead last. Everybody's looking around like, what's wrong with the coyotes? And, um, and that would have been a really good time for us to kind of in that stormy time just kind of crumble and fold, but our girls never did, and they stayed together. And, and so that ability to be able to kind of weather the storm, and, and we, we know there's going to be some storms that come this, this year as well, um, but how well do you handle that? Can you stay strong through that? That shows the true character, and that's kind of been a goal of ours um, all season. Um, the other thing I've really been learning about myself is that, or for myself, for life lessons is surround yourself with good people. Ever since I can remember, I heard my mom saying, you know, you make sure you pick good friends. Surround yourself with good people, and you become most like the five people you spend the most time with, and all those kind of statements. And, um, and, and I have learned, you know, because I have such a phenomenal, outstanding coaching staff, how valuable that has been for me. And um, the people that I spend the most time with are those assistant coaches that work so hard for me. One of those is here today, Clint Farrar, um, who's the newest member of my coaching staff this year as our director of basketball operations. And my assistant coaches, just like John was saying, you know, I get done, we, I, you know, I'm focused in on Marquette, Marquette, Marquette. We get on the bus and I'm like, hey, I want to watch film on our next opponent. And I didn't think I was going to be able to access the film. And my assistant coaches, just without even whatever, said, Coach, I've already downloaded six games on this computer right here. It's ready to go for you. And they, they know what I need before I need it. They, they handle things. And, and I've certainly done something right as the head coach at, at the University of South Dakota, and that's putting good people around me. Um, that includes somebody over here who, uh, you know, who, who has been a, a great joy to our uh, program, and that's John Thayer. We're very fortunate. My dad reminds me. My dad, uh, who's kind of my biggest fan, uh, the other day kind of got, well, he got teased a little bit by my family because he was kind of yelling at the refs and um, got mentioned on the radio for um, <laughs> my dad in the crowd yelling at the officials during the game. But he is our kind of our number one fan, and you know, he's listened to every 
Everywhere I've ever been, when I was coaching at the University of Texas, San Antonio, or Oklahoma State University, or, or at Rogers State, it didn't matter where I was coaching, he'd listen to every single game or watch the streams on the internet, and he reminds me all the time, do you know how fortunate you are to have John there doing your games? Because he, he's listened to some really good radio broadcasts and some maybe not so good. So, um, But we do know how fortunate John is, is not only... Uh, does a great job with our games and is enjoyable on our bus trips and things like that, but he also helps keep track of my schedule, you know, <laughs> helps me kind of make sure I know where I'm supposed to be when I'm supposed to be there, so I appreciate that uh, experience for our women's basketball program. Uh, just great, exciting time for us. Uh, the best thing for me has been since we got home from Ames, though, and just watching our kids really kind of embrace that. They got a little taste of what it was like to be successful, and they just really want more of it. And they've been working extremely hard. Um, the biggest telltale for me was, um, you know, when I first got to USD, we were trying to brainstorm ideas. How can we raise the bar? We, we, would see, we had players who were hard workers. They'd come into the gym and get extra shots. And so we started talking about, okay, great. You're getting extra shots in. You're getting extra work. Now bring somebody else with you. Don't just make yourself better. Have one of your teammates come in so that they can get better too. And, and let's, you know, let's uh, kind of steamroll this thing. And, and um, this summer, I've been on a recruiting trip. I got home. Um, I took my two little daughters to the gym with me, and, and um, my nine-year-old said, Mom, I need to get in shape for my soccer tournament this weekend. Can we go down and run some laps? So I said, okay, let's go, let's go run some laps. And we go down to the dome, and I hear all these balls bouncing in the West Gym, or practice gym. I'm like, what? what is going on Sunday afternoon? So I kind of poke my head around back there. Our entire team is in the West Gym. They're doing competitive shooting drills against each other, and the losers were doing squat jumps and push-ups, and, and there was no coach involved. There was no, it was not an organized practice. They just kind of, the leaders on our team, you know, kind of organized this. They got in there, and they were getting better. Uh, get better as a group and so uh, that was kind of a heartwarming thing for a head coach to watch that and they've been really driven and, and have been playing well. Um, up to this point our biggest goal has been trying to work for sustained success, trying to kind of be a little more consistent and I think that uh, we mentioned that a little bit earlier about consistency kind of uh, for that goal. We don't want quite so many ups and downs and playing to a high level all year long. That's kind of one of our goals this year. And so far we're off to a 7-2 and two start. Um, had a pretty good start. We're really disappointed um, about the, the loss at the University of Kansas. We felt like that was a game we could have got and we were tied with two and a half minutes to go and, and kind of had some uncharacteristic turnovers there down the stretch and, and lost, ended up losing by six points at Kansas. Um, our loss at the University of Washington was, um, was uh, you know, uh, to a team that's a very, very good basketball team, and, and we weren't super disappointed about our performance there. They had a young lady, Kelsey Plum, who, if you can believe this, uh, had 37 points on us, and we held her eight points below her average. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty special player. Um, they've got a couple of explosive guards on their team, and, and they're going to be, well, they're, um, you know, they're, they're 10 and 1 right now and, and, and receiving votes in all the polls. And so a couple of our, our losses, we feel like, are to some pretty good teams and good programs. And, and uh, we've taken care of business. We got a good win on the road at Marquette and, and have had some, some other really good wins at this point. And so we're going to kind of try to build on that here and, and hope that uh, these nine days of um, finals hasn't, hasn't kind of... Uh, Put any kind of a damper on the way we were playing. We were playing really well right before the break, so hopefully we can kind of uh, keep that rolling. We do play uh, St. Mary tomorrow night, and um, and then in a doubleheader with our men, and then a, a really big game for us on Sunday against North Dakota. Right now, uh, North Dakota won the Big Sky Conference last year, and we won the Summit League Tournament Championship. So uh, they gave Texas A&M a little bit of a run for their money in the NCAA tournament, and we uh, played kind of tough with Stanford, and, and uh, they're seven and three right now. We're seven and two, and and both of us kind of uh, trying to 
uh, knock on the door of getting into that mid-major poll and some things. So it would be a really, uh, really good uh, regional win for us. So we're, we're kind of looking forward to that game on Sunday as well. So.